about the Fujifilm Instax Mini 8. I've done two videos concerning Fujifilm um, Instax cameras and some cameras in the past. The first one is about how to use it. The second one is how to take better pictures and how to actually use the functions like the cloud, like the sun, which can get confusing for many. So if you guys haven't seen those yet, watch those before this one, which would make so much more sense if you watch them in order, because then your questions that you might have that are not answered in this video are going to be answered in the other video. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first question is, how long can the film stay in the camera? The film does have an expiration date on the package when you open it, but uh, for my personal experience, I've had my film in my camera for more than three to four months, like between use, and nothing has happened to the film. The film works perfectly fine, so it can stay as long as you use them all up, and then you can just like reload your film, but there is an expiry date on the package. So you can check the expiry date if your film has been in your camera for longer than that, and you can also always try it out, uh, take a shot, and see if something comes out, and if they're coming out blank, then maybe the films are expired, but from my personal experience, I hadn't had any issues with the film being in the camera too long, between use, and I just like keep it in there until I finish using the 10 films. So one of the questions that someone asked me is when do you change the batteries and at that moment I didn't really know how to answer her but if you're watching, uh, I don't remember who asked, I'll put the question right here. Um, I had my camera for about a year and like eight months, almost two years, and I've only changed my batteries once. I also looked it up and it says that one AA battery can last up to a hundred shots. I haven't personally taken a hundred um, films, but there's a point where like I would turn on my camera and it just like didn't turn on, so I thought there was something wrong with it, but it was just the battery that needs to be changed and I just went ahead and changed it. So batteries do last a long time because this camera isn't a camera that is on all the time frequently it's only usually like certain shots here and there so I wouldn't think that you need to change the batteries that often but I personally only change the batteries once and I've had it for almost two years so another frequent question that I have seen is can you take as many pictures as you want Sadly, you can't do that. I wish because films get really expensive. One film pack lasts 10, like 10 shots, and you can also tell by the indicator here at the back that this little indicator right here um, says the amount of film that you have left in your camera, and it comes always with 10, and then it counts down until you have a zero left. If you haven't seen my first video, I recommend you guys watching that and I explain what everything does in the camera and what everything tells you so you know how to use your camera better. So I'll link that down below so you guys can see it. Okay, another question is where did I get my camera strap from? Um, this camera strap actually came with my camera. I know they sell it individually, but I just thought that each camera would come with a camera strap since mine came with mine, so I didn't have to pay extra for this. It came with the camera and I just like put it on. And I find this very useful because if you're just like walking around, you can like hold it and you don't have to worry about it falling if you're just like holding it with the strap. So I would recommend if if you don't have one already to get one because I just find it really useful. So someone asked me, is it safe to travel with specifically when it goes through the conveyor belt in the x-ray when they see what's in like your bag? I've traveled about four to five times with this and there's like multiple stops where I have to do um, this screening and checking and my camera has been through it and it's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with the film after the screening. There's nothing wrong with the camera. It works perfectly fine. It's happened multiple times so by now I would have probably seen if there was a problem um, after I got it through the conveyor belt, but it is fine So I totally recommend bringing it with you when you travel because you can take amazing pictures on your trip I literally took like on my last trip when I went to Europe if you guys haven't seen that travel diary down below I recommend you watch it. I liked it. Um, I think I took about like 20 Polaroids 
because I just love taking these types of pictures and they turn out super cute. Okay, another common question is, can I take the picture twice? Like, does it print twice? Sadly, the only way to do that is you get a Polaroid printer. There is actually a printer that you take your picture on your phone and then you can edit it and then print it. But I feel like you lose the purpose of it. Um, you cannot take the picture twice. Once you click this button and the picture comes out, that's the only picture you can get. If you want to take it again, then you can go ahead and do that. But it doesn't print twice. You can only take it once and it comes out. So that is the end of the video. Those are most of like the frequent questions that I have seen. If you have any other questions about the Fujifilm Instax Mini 8, then leave it down below and I'll answer some of those questions for you guys in the comments below. Any other videos that you guys want to see, maybe a video in Spanish, um, if you guys want to see that or anything else, please leave a comment down below. Please give this video a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe if you enjoyed my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!